dressing up is like a lifestyle. It's, like, it's not something we do like every once in a while. It's something we try to do every day. I was inspired by a couple of local people that were balancing that gap between suits and casual wear. If I find a book on American culture or American history, that's where I, I can actually put something together creatively for myself where I'm like, okay, now I can go thrift looking for a suit that is inspired by that era from that book I saw at that shop. So that's, that's how we usually work things out. We want to document and create a brand that focuses on culture and not just our culture, but cultures of the world that inspire us. South Africans follow more cultures abroad or subcultures abroad than they do on South Africa because they don't relate to what's happening in the country. So they're looking to get the inspiration from abroad. You know, so if we could bridge that gap and bring something that people can relate to, then maybe South Africans would buy more South African brands. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we ultimately want to do. We met in high school. I we went to the same high school. I was a grade ahead of him. I think uh, we started realizing and noticing each other's styles when I was in grade 10. And that's how we, we met, it's like we appreciated each other's style. People our age would only wear a suit to church, but not in like public for a gathering or whatever. It was still like terrifying because you didn't know like a reaction and the response from people. They used to laugh at us and you know, but it was like, it, was, it, it didn't matter. It was like we appreciated what we were doing because we had, I think that vision or like the love for what we were doing. So it, we didn't matter, but it, there wasn't a lot of support it was one of those things where my parents were like, before, like they were very negative because I was coming out of high school and they were still against like fashion. So I was like, no, they pushed me into engineering. And I think I was also like afraid of actually going into fashion. But then that year that I spent was like probably like the most awful year of my life. And I was like, no, I might as well do it. 